Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Oceanside. And the first thing I want you to know about this map is it has a lot of roads that overlap one another in ways where it makes it really difficult to actually drive on every single road when you see stuff like that, for example. So we're just going to be driving on a large variety of the roads, but we might miss a few small sections here and there. And since this is an off-road course, we're going to need a more off-road centric vehicle. So how about we do the Fire Chief version of the Roamer? So like somebody called in a fire. And my job is to find the fire. Problem is, I'll never find a fire because the person who called it in was a hooligan who was just making up lies to mess with the fire chief who he absolutely hates for some reason. And the poor fire chief is just trying to do his job finding the fire and saving the forest. Perfect storyline. Anyways, right now we're actually doing kind of a loop around the place. So we're going to end up back at spawn a few times here. But I figured this would be the kind of easiest way to do things because it feels like it flows when you do this. Like it feels like the road was meant to be driven like this and then it's meant to also be driven like this because it flows like this. And then taking all the side roads kind of feels like they don't flow with the main road. So you can look at those a little bit separate than the main roads is what I'm doing. So anyways, that's a loop around the place one time. That gets us back to the start. And now we're going to take an outer loop and then we have the outermost loop. That's right. We're going to do three separate loops. It's a lot of loops. So the difference right here. Boom. Before we went left, now we're going to the right. Then we're going to drive on the right just for a little bit. Got to give it some gas right there. It's starting to struggle. We got some hills and the fire chief just looking for that fire. I wonder, where's the fire? I'm going to find it. I'm going to put it out because I'm the fire chief. Never going to find it. Never going to find it. Going to get some air because fire chief, you ain't got time to slow down. Next time, we're going to use something a little faster because fire chief's a little too slow for this. I mean, it works well, totally fine. And it's more than capable. But I want to really fly when I hit those jumps. Be going, you know, 80 miles per hour, hit the jump, fly and crash and die. That's the style I want to do. And then we merge back onto the main road right there. And then we're going to go back to the start, and then we're going to do that one more time before we finish, except we're not going to get to the start in the exact same way we did that time. We're going to get there a little bit differently. But boom, starting gate, and then Fire Chief has determined there's no fire, but his brakes have failed. And he's crashed. And he actually could still keep driving. Somehow I kind of drove over the stump. I was thinking it would hit me, and I would wreck on it, but I actually drove over it, and I could still drive to some extent. Anyways, let's go ahead and swap this then for something a little more powerful. Maybe a little less off-road focused. So how about a rally version of the Hirochi Sunburst? And we're not going to use a modded one because I'm not too familiar with those, but I'm very familiar with the normal rally one and how that one performs. So we'll just stick to that for now. And this is a car where I can actually fly a little bit and I'm much more likely to crash, unfortunately. But some of you might be saying, fortunately, I'm more likely to crash because you like the crashes. See me, I think whenever I crash, well, that was a mistake, unless it's intentional. I try to make sure most of the crashes I do are intentional, but every now and then I do make mistakes. And then they get edited out! Ha ha ha! Except when they're actually cool crashes, which is sometimes. Sometimes. Anyways, you see that jump right there? We're not going to do it. Yet! I'll be doing it at a later time, but right now I just want to finish up this uh, road we're on. I want to go through the whole road, then we'll worry about the jumps like that, because there's another jump at the end of this road that I think is a little bit better than that one, and I want to do that jump first. Save the worst for last. No, wait, that's the backwards way of saying that. It's usually save the best for last. But YBR never does things the way he should. He does them all backwards and crazy. But so far, car's doing a really good job of doing what I wanted it to do here. Ooh, that's a little steep. But it's just staying on the road and making me have to actually respect the car. The Roamer, I was just flooring it everywhere I went. This one, it's like, okay, hit the brakes sometimes. You can hit the e-brake to pull it around the corner a little tighter because I'm going fast. That kind of stuff. So here's the jump I wanted to do. We're going to floor it cleanly through there and then right into the, the uh, sand, it looks like. Ah, cleared the sand. Sand's not that deep, so it's not like it would have uh, helped my car much. And that is a completely total car right there. So we can go ahead and just uh, bring it back up to the jump, actually. That's probably the best way of doing this. Bringing it back up to the jump so I don't have to drive all the way back up there. And then we'll swap it out for something with some off-road capabilities once again. But I was enjoying using the Sunburst. How about we do the Pre-Runner, which is like the off-road version of the Sunburst. And I mean, off-road. I like this car so much just because it's giving me an excuse to use the uh, Sunburst at times where I normally never, ever, ever would be able to. So like, right here? Yeah, I could do that in a Sunburst. No problem. No problem. Going uphill might be a little bit of a problem just because it doesn't have the uh, traction for that compared to some of the trucks and the ability to put the power down. But going downhill... It cruises through that. 
Oh, but it is bouncy. It is very, very bouncy. Just gotta calm it down. Let it go slow. I mean, this is like a crawling section almost in terms of the steepness right there. So you would, you have to take it slow. Even if you weren't in such a crazy car to use, you would have to take it slow. All right, let's fly a little, fly a little, fly a little. Nope, didn't get to fly. Oh no, not enough ground clearance. Not enough ground clearance. Oh, I thought I had enough and no, just not enough. All right, pull it back a little bit and we can make it up if we don't actually try to fly, I'm pretty sure. It's gotta go at a little bit of a different angle. There we go. I had to try to fly and I flew. None of my wheels were on the ground. Not exactly the outcome I was looking for though. Anyways, right now we're just gonna be driving to all the kind of side roads on this map like that. Like here's another side road. This one's actually going back uphill. Now I don't know how this car will do with that to be honest with you. We'll see. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Actually doing really, really well at these uphills. Here I was worried about you. I'm so sorry I doubted you. Oh wait, this is why I doubted you. That's nearly vertical. I can't quite do that in a sunburst. And now I am regretting my decisions. I am really regretting that. Luckily, I don't think that caused any significant damage. So we could do one more attack at this with this car. And when it most definitely doesn't work, but we're trying it anyways, we'll go ahead and swap out for something else. But I gotta give it two tries. Especially considering it survived. If it's gonna do all the effort to survive, I can do the effort to give it one more attempt. Although, okay, it's not driving very straight at all. So we'll reset it and then give it one more attempt. All right. Careful, careful, and then floor it right there. Come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Nah, not quite, not quite, get, not gonna happen. So I think the dumbest car I could possibly use to get up this hill would be like the Ibishu Covet front wheel drive drag version, which is as dumb as it gets, but I think it'll actually be able to make it <laughs> if I don't flip it over instantly. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love this car is because it does such dumb and crazy things like that. But this thing has so much power and so much traction it's gonna pull this car up at whether it likes to or not, I think. So here we go, slow, 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 and then floor it. Just floor it, bouncing all over the place. Don't care, I made it up somehow. I don't think I could've came up with a more illogical car to use, but somehow it worked. Just massive amounts of power going through drag wheels and it made it happen. That is amazing. All right, now let's get something a little more logical here. How about we do, do we have any like off-road versions of the Moonhawk? Hey, the General Lee clone. That's kind of off-roady. I mean, you always see them on dirt roads doing jumps and stuff. Totally works. Oh, but boy, is it slippery. Yeah, not an ideal vehicle at all, but it fits the uh, location pretty well for when we get to do a jump, and I want to do a jump soon. And if I'm correct, there should be one coming up that we haven't done yet. Not the one that we did earlier, I think. I might be a little bit lost, actually. I take back what I said. We'll see where I am once I get here. I think there's a jump over here, though. Yes, I see it. Okay, good. There is a jump there. I thought there was, but then I'm, like, second-guessing myself. So here we go. The slowest jump ever! Boy, was that slow. Like, that was slow. It was just... Oh man, I can't even, like, I want to do a jump with this car, but I want it to actually look good. That one was just so miserably slow, because you ain't got no room to drive up to it. Just kind of roll up to it, and then you're like, I'm here, and okay, we're done. So here we go, a little bit more speed this time. Okay, a lot more speed. Making it look cool! See, I tried to slide it and stuff, so it looked great, but you're not going to fly very far when you do that. I'll bring that back and then we'll swap it for something a little bit more off-road appropriate. How about we do the Grizzly? No, the Behemoth. That sounds even better than the Grizzly. The Behemoth. Really long off-road truck that I'm going to roll over right here. You watch that. Oh, I didn't roll it. I thought for sure I was about to, but then I didn't. I pulled it off. Now, I guess you could try to drive up stuff like this if you really wanted to and you had like a really good off-road capable truck and you're a good off-roader. Uh, but I don't see it happening with me ever. I could try as I might, but it's not going to happen. So we're not going to try much more than pointing out the fact that you could try doing that. Because I'm not going to try. I know when I'm going to embarrass myself, and I try to avoid that when possible. Instead, we're just going to drive down the road like this. Maybe get a little bit of air right there. That's how you're supposed to drive the behemoth. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. That's how you drive a behemoth. You got to do barrel rolls as you drive. I wonder if I could go through the river with this thing. 
Oh, it's so falling apart, but I wonder if I could make it through. It's not that deep, is it? Come on, don't flood on me! Don't flood on me! You will get through this river, man. I think it would work better if it wasn't so damaged, but we're gonna keep trying anyways. Oh, get, get, get! The extra long wheelbase right there, it just saved me some. It just saved me a bit. Yeah, we could totally go through the river. As dumb as it looks, we can totally do it! Oh, then we hit the rocks, so I'm looking at the truck from angles and stuff. Alright, now let's go ahead and just get back on the road in the illogical way, which is just crawling right up through there and hoping it works out. This is doing a very good job of just going through things. No matter what's in front of it, it's going through it. Can you go up that hill, though? That hill looks a little steep for how beat up it is. Find out. Careful, careful, careful. Getting sketchy. And I had no momentum going into that because I was bouncing around. Let me try that one more time. Back it up and then go as fast as it'll go, which isn't that fast at all. So no, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. Alternative route. Oh, no. No alternative route. No alternative route. Come on. Upright yourself. Oh, no. Whenever you see that, it's never a good sign. Okay, we'll just reset it right there and keep going with this thing because I'm so proud of it. I want to drive it a little bit more. We're going to go up a road you've seen before. And then we're going to go down the road. I couldn't go up. Oh, hello, tree. I uh, did not see that coming at all. Like, I was just cutting that corner because I'm like, I got an off-road behemoth. I don't need to worry about your stinking corners. Apparently, I do because there are stumps that will absolutely shred you. So now I'm being all super careful. And now we can try to go down this road again. And boy, is it an awkward road to try to go down. Like, even getting onto the road is difficult. Wow. Alright, let's try coming from the other angle then. Because it seems like maybe I'm just coming at a bad angle. We go like this, try to back up in this grass, ruining all the plants there with my behemoth. And... Wow, don't tip on me right there, come on. You are gonna conquer this, man. You got it. Finally. Oh, this is steep though. Like, the long vehicles are always scary for me on steep hills. You have no idea what the front's doing compared to the back half the time, and they're just bouncing all independent of each other. With the shorter ones, they're kind of doing the same thing. This one is so long, it's like the front's bouncing up, the back's bouncing down, it's bouncing left too somehow in the middle. It's like, just so long, it can do so much. And another roll. Doesn't stop it though. You know what I want to do? I want to do a few more jumps, and then I think we'll be done. So I'm going to go all the way back up to the top, because that's where the jumps are at. I go through the water and we're gonna just fly through the water like flying 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 and beautiful behemoth is bouncing with happiness like whenever I see the uh, part of the the tailgate bouncing around like that and then the upper part too it just looks so funny to me it's like somebody's throwing their arms in the air and they're yelling at you or something that's all I can see in that come on don't give up don't give up keep going you have the capabilities I'll probably get a fresh truck to do the jump. Well, I'll try it with a beat-up one. If I can't get enough speed, I'll try a different vehicle. Yeah! Not bad, but it didn't exactly get to uh, where I was hoping it would have got to. But let's bring it back and try a little bit faster vehicle. It's not exactly an off-roady one, though. So let's try out the ETK i-Series Rally version. That might work okay for flying. We'll floor it and see if we can get enough speed there. It looks pretty reasonable for the amount of speed. Get some slow-mo on this and get a cool camera angle, because I can. Let's see, what would be a cool angle? All like that, where you can see everything as it flies. Beautiful! That's a nice camera. That's going to be a thumbnail right there. That's so nice. Calling it. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail unless I forget. And then we crash. And we crash. And we crash one more time for good measure. Can I put any power down? Maybe? Like I saw dust being kicked up and I heard the engine shifting, but I think it's just not- Oh, it's able to get a little bit of traction. I was gonna say it's not able to get enough traction, but there we go. We can back it up down the hill. We're gonna get home somehow. Anyways, I think that'll do it for Oceanside. Until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.